Welcome back to Movieville. Before we get started, I would appreciate it if you would take a moment out of your day to subscribe to my channel. And please don't forget to like the video and leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. It really helps me out. I appreciate you. Our movie starts off with reporters talking about the upcoming red carpet event and how they are all excited to see Anna Fritz and curious to see what she's going to wear on her big night. They talk about how beautiful, elegant, and stunning she will look, and talk about how she has to get another award for her latest movie she has been nominated for. Then we cut to them talking about how Anna Fritz has just been found unalived. She was at a private party and was found unalive in a bathroom there. They say that the cause of death will be confirmed the next day. Here we see Pau. He is a coroner. He is bringing Anna to the morgue. They have to keep her location anonymous to avoid heartbroken fans and reporters from crowding outside the hospital. Anna is famous worldwide and news of her untimely death has shocked so many people. Pau can't believe that Anna Fritz is at the hospital he works at, so he takes her picture and sends it to his two friends, Ivan and Javi. Later, he is surprised to see that his two friends have turned up at the hospital. They are on their way to a party but wanted to see Anna in person first. They ask Pau where they can take their coke in private. He's annoyed by this and tells them they need to go outside and do it. They can't be doing that at his workplace. Outside, they call Pau a pussy because he wouldn't have a drink with them. He doesn't want to because he has a few autopsies to do early the next morning, including Anna Fritz. They all have a drink and cheer to Anna, but the other two guys are high on coke and alcohol, and now they keep pressuring Pau to take them to see Anna. They want to see what she looks like naked. He eventually caves in and says they can have a quick look at her, but they have to leave right after. Javi changes his mind and wants to leave to go to the party, but Ivan insists that as soon as they see her, they will leave. The morgue is located in the basement. It's like a maze down there. It's easy to sneak people in because it's a few floors down from the hospital, so no one goes down there except the coroner. So they are confident that no one will see them. Javi says he'll wait outside the door. The thought of seeing an unalived body is freaking him out. But Ivan drags him in with them. Javi tries to leave again, but they warn him that if he's caught out in the hallway by security, they'll be in big trouble, so he waits with them inside. Pau shows them Anna and says... She doesn't even look unalive. They all can't believe that they are looking at one of the most famous and beautiful actors in the world naked. They start to touch her. They all then do another line of coke. Ivan says that half of Spain wants Anna Fritz, and yet they are the lucky ones who are right beside her while she's naked. They take off her blanket and talk about how beautiful she is. They say disgusting things about what they want to do to her corpse, and Ivan says if he worked here... He wouldn't be able to control himself if any beautiful, unalived women came in. Sick creep. He asks Pau if he has ever done anything to some of the women that he works on in the morgue. He told them about a beautiful 17 or 18-year-old girl who came into his morgue. He admitted that he R-worded her and said that you can't even tell that they are unalive. These are sick, twisted individuals. Ivan says you did a random woman but not Anna Fritz. Ivan then suggested that all of them R-word her. Javi wants to go because he has a date waiting for him at the party. Ivan says that not one of them girls at the party can compare to the famous beautiful Anna Fritz. Pau says they have the whole basement to themselves tonight, so no one will even hear them. Javi is disgusted by this idea and walks away to leave. He is shocked that they are both talking about essaying a corpse. While Javi is trying to talk Pau out of it, they both hear Ivan R-wording Anna. Javi is disgusted by this and tells him that they are both very sick people to want to violate a corpse like that. But Creep Pow is not listening. He's enjoying watching Ivan. Sick Ivan brags about how amazing it was and tells them both they need to do it too. Javi can't believe what his friends are doing. Pow then R-words Anna too, but as he is assaulting her, Anna wakes up. She can't move. She can only open her eyes. She is in absolute shock at what is happening to her. Pau doesn't notice at first. Poor Anna is trying to scream, but she can't move a muscle. Pau then notices she's looking at him and he starts screaming. They are all shocked that Anna is alive. Javi tells them to get her some water, but they won't. He is disgusted by them. 
He's the only one who didn't essay her. He covers her body and gives her water. He tells her she's going to be okay. Anna is terrified. She can only move her eyes and head just a tiny bit. Javi says that they need to call a doctor immediately and says they have to take her upstairs right away. They then hear a nurse bringing another corpse into the morgue. Anna is trying her best to scream for help, but she literally cannot talk or move an inch. Ivan covers Anna up and says they have to figure out a plan before they tell people she's alive. They hide Anna. She starts to move her hand and pulls the blanket off her face, but she doesn't do it on time so the nurse doesn't notice, and he leaves. Javi is panicking and says there is literally nothing to talk about. He says she woke up and now we need to get her help. It's as simple as that. Anna can now talk just a little bit and ask them to help her. Ivan said that his and Pau's lives are over because they are worded her and Javi didn't. She is one of the world's most beloved celebrities, and if people find out they are worded her, they will be all over the news and papers and go down for years in prison. Ivan tries to convince them that they have to unalive her. Javi says, Well, that's tough, and says it's not his problem and that he's going to get her help right away. He tries to take her upstairs, but Ivan won't let him leave. Anna can barely talk. She is so weak, but she quietly begs them to get her out of the morgue, and she starts crying. Javi will not give up and says he's leaving now with Anna. They now realize they are locked in the morgue. The nurse who brought the new corpse in locked the door behind him. Pau doesn't have his keys with him. He left them outside by mistake, so now they are all locked inside with no way out. Javi starts shouting for help. Ivan panics and hits him to make him keep quiet. He punches Javi repeatedly and seriously hurts him. He starts to bleed heavily. Ivan asks Javi to forgive him, saying that it was an accident, but Javi is losing a lot of blood, and he passes away. Ivan feels so guilty. Anna is even more scared now because the only person who was trying to help her is unalived. They cry about how they are going to prison for life, but if they unalive Anna now and put Javi into one of the big hospital bins, they might get away with it. Anna can now move a little more and crawls to Javi. She takes his phone and makes a call to her father. They come back into the room, grab the phone, and hang up. They don't know that Anna didn't get a chance to talk to her father, but she lies and says that she did talk to her father but only told him that she woke up. She said she didn't tell him that they are worded her. Ivan says it's over, and they both accept their faith. But then Anna's father calls the phone back and asks who called him. They now know Anna lied and only gave her father a missed call. She didn't get to talk with him on time. They tell her father that he called the wrong number. Ivan slaps Anna and says some disturbing and disgusting things to her while telling her she's not going to be alive for much longer. She gets Pau alone and begs him to not listen to Ivan and tries to make him see sense in what he's about to do. She tells him he's not a murderer and to please help her get out. He ties her up and goes to help Ivan clean up their mess and hide Javi. Anna can now move a little more and unties herself. She still can't walk but manages to crawl out without the men seeing her. They panic and go looking for her but they can't find her. She makes it to another floor and finds an elevator. She crawls into it, but Ivan sees her and drags her back. Anna is watching them as they discuss the best way to unalive her. She lays there so weak and helpless. They then try to suffocate her. They think they have unalived her, but Anna is faking it. She is trying to stay perfectly still until they both leave the room again. Pau cleans Anna's body while Ivan puts Javi's body in a garbage bin and dumps him in a nearby park across the road. Anna thinks Pau has left the room, so she starts coughing. Pau can't believe she is still alive. He tells her to pretend to be unalive and covers her back up. He doesn't care that they are going to prison for life now. He can't unalive her. They both leave. But Ivan realizes he has forgotten something. He goes back to get it and sees that Anna is alive. He is shocked and beats up Pau for lying to him. Anna then walks over to them and she unalives them both with a pair of scissors. Our story ends there. It's never really explained why Anna was believed to be unalive, but I'm guessing she took some type of drug at the private party she was at. Or maybe she was drugged with a muscle inhibitor drug and that's why she literally couldn't move a muscle for hours and hours. What a terrifying thought.
Till next time, guys. Take care.